Welcome to our very first Art for Your Heart. In each video, I'm going to be sharing a message with you as well as some artwork and I encourage you to create your own artwork. Today's session will be all about doors and so I'm standing here outside the door of the Uniting Church in Vandenberg. Let's go inside. We are living in a very interesting time at the moment. We have been told to stay indoors. We know that there is a pandemic that is making people really sick. It's quite frightening and sometimes hard to understand. But we can praise God that we live in a time when there are wonderful doctors and great hospitals to care for us. And although we have to be really careful and stay indoors and do all we can to keep ourselves and other people healthy, the situation is not hopeless. I'm going to share an artwork with you that I did of a door. It's a closed door and tell you about a time in history where people were forced to stay behind their doors. In the 1300s, there was a frightening pandemic which forced people to stay indoors. But unlike now, when people can go to the hospital if they get sick, when these people got sick, they were not allowed to leave their homes at all. The pandemic I'm referring to, of course, is the bubonic plague. If you or anyone in your family were to get sick with this disease, you'd have to close and lock your door. Then authorities would come and place a big red cross over the door, saying that all those inside were infected and no one was to go in and no one was to come out. The people inside were condemned to die. The Easter story is also a story about doors. You see, we were condemned to die. Our sin is like that big red cross on the door, keeping us trapped and without hope. And God did not want our sin to keep us from him. He did not want us to remain condemned. So Jesus chose to die in our place, to take our sin upon himself and save us. You see, when D Jesus died on the cross, he took all our sin upon himself and freed us completely from sin. It's as if the people inside the doors were suddenly made whole again. And that's what we have become with Jesus, whole and clean and free. I'm going to tell you the rest of the Easter story. You see, when Jesus died, they took his body, they placed it in a tomb, and he was in that tomb for Friday night, Saturday night. But then on the Sunday, an amazing thing happened. The big rock that they'd sealed the tomb with was completely rolled away. The door that had been sealed was open. The tomb was open and Jesus was alive again. It's because of the empty tomb that we are able to be free from sin and no longer condemned. We are able to actually live with God who is alive and real and wants to live with us and be with us every day. I'd like to show you another artwork by an artist named William Holman Hunt. This art piece is based on a verse in the Bible from Revelation 3 verse 20, it says, Here I am, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with that person and they with me. Although Jesus made a way for us to be free from sin and to be healthy and no longer condemned, there are still many people who have shut their doors to Jesus. They live as if they have that red cross still over their lives. Jesus says, you are free to open the door. You are no longer condemned. I offer you my hope and my life, but you need to open the door. As you can see in the painting, there is no door handle on the outside. Jesus would not force his way into your life. You have to open the door of your life to him. When you do, Jesus comes in and fills our life with hope, peace, and joy. During this coronavirus pandemic, People have thought of many creative ways to share that they still have hope even though they're indoors. 
Some people are putting teddy bears in the windows, others have drawn pictures of rainbows and stuck them on their doors or windows. I thought that it would be wonderful if we could share with everybody that drives past our home the ultimate symbol of hope, and that is the cross of Jesus. So I'm going to show you how to make some crosses and you can choose whichever design you like and hang it on your door. The cross design that I'd like to share with you looks like this. I've shared this template on the church website if you'd like to use it. It's just a paper mosaic and it's very easy to do. You have to make sure that you print the template, cut out the shapes and use them to trace other colours. Watch as I do it for you. If you'd like to do your cross as a paper mosaic, but you don't have coloured paper, you can look for colour in the adverts that we get every day in the post box. This cross I created using just pictures from adverts. If you don't want to do paper mosaic, you can do anything. You could use the same template and just colour it with wax crayon, colouring pencils, this one was done with oil crayons and then I took a bit of baby oil and covered it so that it made it a bit see-through. So actually I could hang it up on a window and it could look a bit like a stained glass cross. There are many other crosses that you could do without using this template. My children have made a few. This one was done with paint. Lovely words written in texture. Lots of different accessories. Coloured paper, washi tape, and even pieces of wood. The point is, I would love to see this Easter crosses on your door so that when people drive past, they know that you are filled with hope, that you have opened the door of your heart to Christ. And so as they drive around, they see, wow, look at all these wonderful crosses. And so once you've made your cross, why not share it on our Facebook page? Why not share it in the comments below? Hashtag Easter Hope. And let's see what crosses you come up with. And let's remember always that Christ is there for you. So place it on your door, remembering that you have opened the door of your heart to Christ.